Hey guys, in this video we will be getting our hands dirty and we'll be actually start typing uh, JavaScript in our HTML document. Now JavaScript you can, uh, just like CSS, you can write in our HTML. We need to surround it by uh, a pair of tags. Now CSS, we had to surround it by a style tag. Now, in JavaScript, we surround it by a script tag. So we can write script, give it some space, and we write the script end tag. Now this pair of script tags you can write either in the body or in our head tags. Now generally, we will talk about this later on, but uh, the, in JavaScript there are stuff you want your uh, browser to load before your body loads. So if you have, for example, some functions that you want the web your browser to load before the body loads you write it in your in between your head tag and everything else you can write it in your uh, script tag now also they are uh, just like CSS there's inline JavaScript internal JavaScript which is this script tag and there's an external JavaScript which you have uh, something dot JS file like a main dot JS file uh, somewhere in your uh, desktop or in the server and you write your your link to it just like CSS in your head tag. Now uh, let's start writing some simple uh, JavaScript. Okay in between our uh, script tags in our body tags let's write alert and brackets and inside it give it two single quotes and inside that, let's write some text. Hello, world. Simple. Now let's save our work and refresh. There we go. The page at file localhost says hello world. And I'll press OK, and that disappeared. Because I don't have any uh, anything inside the body tag except for this alert. This is going to be empty. Now let's look at this document. Now what this does is alert gives an alert pop-up just like we saw over here there and inside this uh, brackets we have single quotes and inside the single quotes we write the text we want the browser to display or the pop-up to display over here and when we say OK that disappears so that's the alert we'll talk about uh, alerts and pop-up boxes later on in the uh, in the video. Now, in HTML and stuff, we off we write our start tag, and we finish it with an end tag. Now, in JavaScript, after we write a set of code, what we have to do is close it or end it with a semicolon. I'll talk about the JavaScript statements and the structure in the next video. I think, yeah. But this is just something you have to learn. You need the semicolon at the end. Now, uh, this one displays the alert. I didn't need you. There we go. Over here. Now, what if we want to display some text within the body tag? Over here. Now, instead of the alert, what we could do is uh, document dot write. And apart from that, it's all the same. I tend to prefer writing both. Uh, the brackets and then the semicolon at the end before I go on into here so that I can actually I don't have to like remember and I don't I won't accidentally forget writing these two at the end and I write both the single quotes first so that I don't have to write it at the end or forget about it and uh, I could just write welcome to the world of JavaScript Hey. Let's save it and refresh. There we go. With the document dot write, uh, basically JavaScript writes the text inside as a text in your uh, web browser in your body tag. So there we go. That's the two most basic ways of uh, 
showing text in JavaScript, one's using the alert box and one's using document.write and writing it in here. Now I'll talk about document.write uh, later on in my videos because this is actually a pretty uh, useful function as we could actually insert uh, HTML stuff in here and make uh, what do you call it your web browser read that as an HTML instead of a text so I won't just show you now but we could write like a p tag or an h1 tag inside this document right and it will display the document the processed document we could also use this document to write to display uh, your current date and time and stuff as well so it's pretty cool and handy in my next video, what was I going to talk about? I will talk about JavaScript statements and structures. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later.